I have a question for both of you. What do you think should be done about private monopolies? Well, I think his answer, well, <laughs> I actually don't know enough about, so in, in fact, yeah, I mean, the question of, of, of monopolies and what kind of antitrust regulation we should have is not really a socialist versus capitalist uh, question. So a lot of monopolies that exist, exist because of collusion. I'm not sure. Um, and, and, and in a different sort of system, I wouldn't necessarily mind uh, uh, more larger companies because, in fact, with those economies of scale, there might be efficiencies. So I don't really know enough to answer that, that question, but it's not really, um, you know, I, I think a uh, left versus right kind of socialist, uh, uh, you know. Well, I mean, yeah. socialists want to create monopolies. They want to create monopolies over health care. They want to yes, create monopolies sure. over, sure, over, yes. over education. They want to create monopolies over whatever they happen to cherry pick. They want to create monopolies over. I believe that in a true free market, and let me be clear, the United States is not a free market. It's not capitalist. It's a heavy regulated mixed economy. In a real free market, there's no such thing as a monopoly. That is that even when you have a large, like Rockefeller, 92% of the old oil production, uh, all, all the refining capacity in the 1870s, prices go down every year. Quality goes up every single year. So he doesn't behave like what you are taught in economics class. By the way, that whole section of economics where they teach you perfect competition and, and monopolies, rip it out of the book. It's useless. It's absolutely useless. I, I, I apologize to professors in the room, but it's a waste of the student's time because nobody behaves that way. And when you look at, at companies, right, what they try to do is they're trying to maximize their profitability over the long term. And to do that, you lower prices, you raise you raise quality, and every so-called monopolist in American history has not behaved like the textbook said they would behave. So, I, I, you know, who competed Rockefeller out of the business of lighting? Edison did. Who would have thought of that? It's a, it's a, it's a replacement product, right? Because kerosene was replaced by electricity. Markets, are, 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 I can't overestimate how beautiful they are in that they produce results that are unimaginable in advance to central planners or to anybody else. Thank you. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes.